Good morning. <laughs> like you just begin today lying on your back with your legs outstretched on the floor. Have your head on the bolster facing the center of the room. Just like that. So your feet toward the wall, head on the bolster. Kind of like you were a few hours ago laying in bed. <laughs> hmm. Except just, just got to turn around. Yeah. I know. They do too. It's going to be best if your feet are toward the wall. That's the only part that's different about laying in bed. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that maybe threw you off. <laughs> so just have plenty of room to stretch your legs out so your feet don't touch the wall. <laughs> Open your practice. Now, bring your arms out to the sides. Just test a little bit, see how the shoulders feel. Palms up toward the ceiling and slowly begin to wrap your elbows around the end of the bolster. Slide your fingers under a bit, if doable. All feedback should point to a peaceful mind. It could be, for some of you, it could be a little on the intense side of things, but nevertheless, you're a hundred percent certain you're at peace with it. That's it. We don't have to figure anything out. Slowly turn your head to the right. Let everything about this moment point to your peaceful mind. Your face relaxed, your shoulders relaxed, your forehead serene. Slowly turn your head through to the second side.
might be helpful to know that you don't have to calm your mind down. That would be controlling. You ever tried to control someone or control a child to get them to calm down? It just doesn't work. It doesn't work with ourselves either. It is very helpful to know we have a peaceful mind just waiting to be known. It's already there. And yoga joins with it. Bring your head back to the center. And use your hands now to slowly push the bolster away toward the center of the room. Bend your knees up, have your feet flat on the floor. <clears throat> your hands under the bolster if doable, okay? And some of you will have your hands on top. Okay, this one, right? Okay. How's that? Good. Yeah. Okay, good. Knees bent, feet on the floor. Start to reach. Keep the bolster on your hands or even on your wrists like that, and start to extend the elbows. That's it. That's it. So the elbows extend as a, at, the, at the pace that the shoulders can reach. What do you feel in your shoulders? Okay, so put your hand, put your hands on top. Now reach a little bit more. Does that make it more doable or is it still strong? Okay. Spread the fingers. Now we've established the goal. We've established the purpose of the shape and the sensation to move us toward a peaceful state of mind. With that in mind, meet the resistance, touch into it, knees together, feet together, slowly extend the left leg up toward the ceiling, have your left knee touching the right knee, yeah, not resting on it but pressing against it, which takes work now. So you press the inner part of the knee together right there. Yep. So do that for a while. Then if it gets strong, then you can support a little bit. All right. Now, don't overwork. Don't fight. Experience. The reach the spread of the fingers, the working thigh muscle, the squeezing inner thigh muscles, sometimes cramping in those muscles. We're just waking them up. Flexion of the foot, toes come towards you, the heel presses away. 
And in the midst of that work, you return to the parts of your body that are calm and like your peaceful mind, just observing, just participating. Breathe through the nose, let your head rest heavy. Lower your foot. Knees bent, feet on the floor. Extend the right leg up. Squeeze the knees, squeeze the inner thigh muscles according to the feedback. Isn't that nice? There's no counting, there's no no agenda. Just your arms reaching, the sensation, the feedback, the peaceful observation. Extend the elbows, you extend the right knee, you flex the ankle, you push the heel away. Okay, lower your foot. All right, now how are the shoulders doing? Okay, you could leave your hands right here if you need to. You might even bring them to your side for a rest. If the shoulders are okay, let's bring them a little, bring the hands a little closer together. Shoulders bugging you, Jody? A little bit? You want to go on top? Yeah. Maybe the thumbs touch. Maybe for some of you, the left hand stacks on top of the right. Shoulders okay. Extend the left leg up again. Squeeze the knees, push the heel away. Feel the inner thigh muscles from the knee through the inseam of the leg into the groin. Press the belly down a little bit. And now slowly bring the whole left leg toward you. Keep the knee very, very straight. Be vigilant for that. Excellent. Yeah. You come back down a little bit if you need to. Flex the toes. Flex the ankle toward you. There it is. And just hug the bones in your leg and your foot and your shin with your muscles. Squeeze them tight. Your muscles like the compression and the full use as much as your joints do. Just give them some love. Squeeze them. And if something about the shape or the moment says it's been enough, then guess what? You've done enough. The work is over. You peacefully put your foot back on the floor. Okay. Lower your foot. Switch the stack of your hands. Right leg up, start with the right knee the same height as the left, firm the thigh, extend the knee, flex the ankle, flex the toes, hug the bones with your muscles, and slowly from the hip, from the hip alone, bring the leg closer, inch by inch. A 
you know, strong, straight leg. So lower a little bit. There it is. See the difference? Okay. Yep. Press the kneecap against. And then bring the top of the foot closer to your shin. Open the sole of the foot. There. Squeeze that. Squeeze your knee. You're doing great. Yep. Yes. Full engagement of the muscles. Turn your thigh in a little bit. Good, Kim. A little space between your chin and your throat. You can relax the space in your jaw, the teeth apart a little bit. Head heavy. Breathe through the nose. And lower your foot. Knees bent. Feet on the floor. Okay, bring your hands back out, shoulder width. And if it's been enough on your shoulders, then bring them to your sides, have your palms down, and just keep them there. If you're truly peaceful with the feedback, it is remarkable the intensity that can work in your favor. We just have to be deeply honest with ourselves. Now bring the left foot up again. Knees touching. See, you can even press the right foot into the floor here a little bit and use your abs to move your low back toward the floor some and support the shape. Now, slowly point the toes, curling the toes, making a fist shape with that foot. Work with the cramps, extend the knee, curl the toes, and now slowly bring the whole leg a little closer to you. Leave the knee, inch by inch, bring the leg closer. Just focus on a straight knee. You can support some with the right foot. Use your abs. Head heavy, shoulders easy. Yes, can you feel the attention you're giving to the bones and your toes and the foot itself and the ankle? Flushing out toxins, renewing new fluids, reorganizing. Very good. Bring your foot to the floor. Raise the right. Knee height. Engage your thigh muscles. Engage the calf muscles. Engage the muscles across the bottom of your foot. Dance with the cramps and bring the whole leg closer. Feel how the knee automatically wants to bend. All right, and see if you can notice that. Lower a little bit and recommit to a super strong straight knee. Use the muscles in the bottom of the foot. Use your calf muscles. Relax the throat muscles. Relax your rib cage. Or at the very least, observe where tension gets pushed, where it shows up, where it's not helpful.
lower your foot. Bring the bolster under your head. Interlock your fingers under your head. Soles of the feet together, knees wide. Feel for good contact where the little toe bases touch, the center of each heel, maybe the big toe base as well. Do you notice any rigidity or stiffness in the ankles themselves or the bottom of your foot? Just notice it. Is it okay to? the knees. Yeah, soles of the feet together. There you go. Slowly turn your head to the right. Bring your head to the center. Change the way your fingers interlock. And turn your head to the left. Sometimes the passivity gets to be a little too much, or you know you've had the adequate amount of time because the sensation increases, your piece starts to slip a little bit. Okay, so then you have to make a change.
or did it start to show me outer hip or inner? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> now slowly, simultaneously, bring your knees together. Bring your head back to the center. And release your arms down by your sides. Stretch your legs on the floor. Okay, and then roll to one side. You can stay up yeah. and push yourself up. Come on up to standing, take your socks off. Okay, take your socks off and you're going to uh, put your back against the wall with your feet a good 20 inches or so away from the wall. So bring your feet out here, but lean against the wall. Your feet hip width apart, heels slightly turned out. Be sure your feet are far enough away so you really, really rely on the wall a little more. Yeah. And there, your feet are far enough away so that your knees stay straight and extended with very little effort. But they do kind of want to bend so keep your knees straight now. Keep them straight with the least amount of effort. Bring your chin toward your chest. Let your shoulders and arms hang and slowly begin to curve forward. Feel the upper bones of your back leaving the wall first. Keep the knees straight, let your spine curve, stop where you are for a moment, and relax your shoulders. I like the word relax because it means you're already relaxed once, we just have to lax again. All right, and your knees are straight, and everything checks out, everything is feeling okay. If so, you venture a little more. All right, now, here, let's go to a place where you can really have full support on the wall, just for the, all right, now feet away, feet out here, there. Now keep your knees straight. There, now slow. Yeah, see that? Let your spine curve. Drop your arms. Relax your shoulders. 
let this part occur. Yeah. Now, check in with your legs, thighs engaged, keeping the knees straight. Check in with your arms and shoulders, they're just dangling. Your head is dangling. Keep that, keep those qualities and lift the abs away from the floor a little bit. Hollow the belly out. Just lift up a little bit. Good. Legs strong, knees straight, arms hanging. <clears throat> Keep lifting the abs. And now we're going to reverse the whole thing. You're going to lead with your tailbone. Just stop for a moment. Feel where your tailbone is. It's probably the only thing touching the wall right now. Lead from there, like dropping the anchor. Drop the anchor and make your tailbone move down the wall first. You'll feel it slide down the wall. And you slowly keep lifting the abs. Keep dangling your arms. This is your center. This whole thing is your, is your core. Move from there. We're not trying to strengthen it. We're just trying to move from it. Doing okay? Okay. Come on back up. That's it. Tailbone down. Now strong legs. Your head, back of the head touching the wall. For just a moment, we're going to, just as a simple exercise, see how much contact of your back you can get onto the wall. The lumbar spine and your neck don't touch, right? But everything else does. So use your legs, use your abs, use the muscles in your neck. Be gentle. Practice peace. And see if you can get your low back to move forward, maybe even touch the wall and the back of your neck, which is a retrusion of the chin. Easy shoulders. We're just evoking the movement potential of your spine. That's all we're doing. Okay, now come away from the wall. Stand with your legs wide. Uh, take a quarter turn to the left. Legs wide, line your heels up on the back edge of the mat. Good. Not so wide with your legs that you you can't now strongly turn your heels out. Heels out. That's the priority. Heels out, and that gets into hip stiffness. Maybe a little wider. Then, then maybe a little wider. You can go wider, Debbie, and so can you, Ralph. Okay, hands on your waist. Now, for a moment, imagine the shape you just did at the wall where you used your abs and you tried to get everything to touch the wall behind you. Just have a moment of that. The tailbone down and the abs in and the pubic bone up and shoulders easy. Now, <clears throat> Put a little attention into your tailbone. Move it down. Remember how it felt touching the wall. And have that quality as you slowly start to curve. Go very slow and let your arms hang. Be sure you're not holding tension in your upper back. Or if you are, then just notice that. The tailbone moves down toward your heels. 
as your rest of you moves toward the floor. The knees have to stay straight. And right there, that's, that's enough, Jean. You're doing it. Just play in that zone. Don't try to go further forward. Yeah. We're undoing old unhelpful patterns. You'll notice the weight shifts into the heels a little bit more than the front of the foot. That's fine. Okay, arms heavy, legs strong, slowly uncoil. Yeah, knees straight. Hands on your waist, squeeze your buttocks. Squeeze the tip of the tailbone down, draw the abs in. Yeah. Soften your toes. Okay, good, release the shape, have a walk. Oh, and if you don't have a strap, be sure to grab a strap. Here's the box. Okay, go on back to your mat with your strap, but stay standing. Set the strap down. Right there. <laughs> and then right there. All right, set the strap down and then stand facing the middle of the room. Your feet mat width apart, heels on the edge of the mat, little toe edge on the edge of the mat. So you got to look down little tiny details. Yeah, so. Now, make your heels go out. There it is. Ta-da. Good. Feel the difference? Yeah. Okay, hands on your waist. Firm your thighs. Same exact thing. We're getting good at this. Extend the knees. Squeeze the tailbone down. Now, keep that. Add a little complexity to it. So you got to keep your mind in these details. Interlock your fingers behind your back. You might come away from the wall just a little bit. Interlock your fingers and now start to squeeze your fingers. Can you press the palms of the hands together and even the heel of the hands together without shifting the pelvis forward? In fact, press your tailbone a little bit into your hands, your thumbs right there, they're right there. All right, and then gaze ahead. Just notice, is there awkwardness? Okay, if there is, that's perfect. We're bumping up against the patterns. The, Slowly lift your hands away from your low back. Don't let the chin drop. Don't let the position of your pelvis change. Try not to compensate by rolling the shoulders back. Lower down, change the interlock of your fingers. No, not curving forward. Just lower your hands down, switch the interlock. There you go, squeeze again. Thighs engaged, tailbone squeezed, lift your hands away. 
Don't turn it into a contest with yourself. Just bring the stiffness to the light. What's ready to change will change. Lower your hands. All right, release the shape. Put your legs up on the wall. Have your head on the bolster and your strap convenient. Strap nearby. Put the strap on the ball of the right foot. Good. Heel goes to the wall. Your hands go high up on the strap. There you go. Okay. And then keeping with the theme, we engage the toes, engage the shin muscle, engage the thigh muscles. and drop the shoulders, just let them go. And put the work in your hands and your fingers for a moment. And then slowly bring the heel off the wall. Toes. Good. Feel the work under your kneecap, yep. The thigh muscles, yeah, it does. Okay. Include everything in this leg. There's everything. Feel the, feel the difference? Yeah. So we got to be gentle, but really detailed. Back to the wall with your heel. Good. Move the strap to the ball of the left foot. Okay. Hands high. Can you have a strap any chance? No. As long as you can, try that. Keep the heel on the wall a moment. Get the details. Knee extended, ankle flexed, the sole of the foot open. See, and you can feel the moment you get that alignment, the sensation comes down into the hips. You're honest through your foot, your toes, your knee, and into your hip. Then you bring the heel off the wall. Yes, it's yoga for the bones. There it is. Good. Come back a little bit. There. Drop your shoulders a little, yes. Feel your whole leg. Excellent. And bring your heel back to the wall. 
If you need a rest on your fingers, take the rest. Otherwise, go back to the ball of the right foot. Maybe you need a rest for your mind or your breath. Take the rest. When, you, when everything is synchronized, hands high, strap on the ball of the right foot. Same details. Keep the heel on the wall a moment. And find your way into the whole leg, your whole knee, your whole foot, and your whole ankle. It doesn't mean that you're maximizing your effort. It just means you're unifying your effort. Now, treat your whole right leg like a big cylinder, like one of those foam rollers. Think like that. And turn it thigh in, heel out. Bring the heel off the wall slightly. See, that turn comes cylindrically down into the hip. And now, with the toes pointing toward your nose a little bit, bring your whole leg toward your left shoulder. Tiny bit of movement. That's just a directional cue. Toward the midline, some. out we back off a little bit that's it feel the hip work yeah that's golden that's good yeah this is so good for your hip feel it yeah yeah and you're really getting the hang of it it's good All right, and then back to the wall. And back over to the ball of the left foot. If the devil is in the details, we got to flush them out. Now keep the heel on the wall, firm the thigh, Use your shin muscle. Open the sole of the foot to some degree. Remember, all inclusive over any kind of idea of maximizing. And then with the heel turned out, the thigh turned in, it comes off the wall. Your leg toward the midline and a little toward your right shoulder. Yeah, you <laughs> hit gold. <laughs> That's it. Excellent. Yeah, it's so nice. We just target the bones and everything else just follows along. There's a firmness in the leg, but not so much demand that you can't feel the weight of your leg coming down into the pelvis. Yes, like we're seating the head of the femur deep into the socket and exposing any resistance to that along the way for sure. Back to the wall. And set the strap to the side. Which I've been told is many of your favorite cue. Set the strap to the side. Okay, now bend your knees, push yourself back. It might be your second favorite cue. Push yourself back. Stretch your body, roll onto one side, push yourself up, have a seat on your bolster, 
Just make sure your bolster is not too close to the wall. You'll face the middle of the room. Bring it out a little bit, Mercury. More toward the middle of your mat. Left leg in front of the right. Yep, and the heels out by the knees. All right. Heels out a little bit. Okay, yeah. Yeah, slowly curve. Walk your hands out. Okay, let me give you a little adjustment. Bring your knees up a little. Okay, now curve forward. Okay, is it too strong on that hip? It's okay. Let's give this. Your hands are going to let the bolster be helpful here in a second. All right, how you doing? Oh, just right out in front. Can you do that? Is the sensation too strong in your hips? No. Okay, there you are. You are curving. Yeah, it's perfect. All right, now, keep your curve, keep your torso low. Slowly walk your hands to the left. Okay, the left hand will end up on the bolster by your hip. Your fingers just off the end, sort of pointing to the left. The head relaxed and heavy. The curve still happening. Press the left hand into the bolster to move your left ribs toward the ceiling. There you go. Keep the curve. And you drop your head again. That's it. That's nice. There. And just let the twist come into the spine as well as the curve. Come back a little bit and down. Now. That's it. Move your breath into your ribs. Yeah. Yes, use your abs a little bit. Find your way down into this area. That's good, Jim. You got it. Good, Kent. Good, Tom. That's it, Lonnie. Drop your shoulders some. Good. So good. And then back down to the center. So just don't lose the curve. Okay. And raise back up. Yeah. Feel the difference? Oh, yeah. Yeah, change yeah, the nice. cross of your leg. Isn't that nice? Hmm. I'm not sure I'd use it. <laughs> oh. Okay, honesty. Always. Slowly curve. Bring your heels out a little bit, Kim. All right, and now keep your torso low, slowly walk to the right. Put your right hand on the bolster. Keep the curve, number one, just keep the curve. The neck and the heavy neck, head relaxed. Then bring the twist. Use the abs and find the stiffness further down the spine. All right, 
your elbows bend a little. Press your feet into the floor a little bit so that you press, you stay right on the bolster. Yeah. There. No. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Feel your sit bones pressing the same. See, part of the role of the right hand pressing the bolster is to move some weight into the left sit bone. That's the other end of the twist. That's it. It's good. Very good. Back down to the center. Uncoil. Okay. Mm -hmm. Stay soft here. Nope. Stay soft. Mm. Yeah. That's kind of weird. Mm -hmm. But that's the direction you want to start moving to undo. Soft and still. Okay. Yeah. See, those muscles have a mind of their own. And already they're starting to do this. Mm -hmm. We're just so conditioned for that. It's not wrong. We just want to bring that to the awareness. we got to bring the all the unconscious stuff to at least to... The body's awareness. At least we have to bring it to the light where it can be undone. Now, on your back, stretch yourself out. Have your head on the bolster. Legs straight. Nothing touching the wall. Doesn't matter which way you face. And after that Sukhasana twist, if there's any strong sensation in your back, A, we would expect a little bit, and B, you can just bend your knees up, have your feet on the floor a moment, and let it resolve. Once it's resolved, stretch your legs out, interlock your fingers potentially under the bolster, yeah, or just come under the, yeah, always go around, and not that, yeah. Feeling okay in your back? Okay, good. Now let gravity have you. Give everything over. down a second. Bring the bolster all the way in. There. Now, go around the bolster that way. Yes, right there is fine. That's good.
Release your arms to your sides. Roll onto one side. And when ready, push yourself up. Have a comfortable seat. Close your eyes, bring your hands to your heart. An outer expression of the peaceful mind waiting to be known. A gentle decision to join with it. Namaste. Namaste. All right, good job. Yeah. <laughs> Have a peaceful day. I will. <laughs>